Okay, it is time to talk about landing yourself a job. So Phil Blair from Manpower is here, and he says that you ought to compare yourself to a telemarketer. Phil, oh, what's that up with terrible? that? Yes, that nobody like wants worst? to be a telemarketer. But didn't I get your attention? You sure did. Okay. So what's this all about? Week after week, I tell you about networking, networking, networking. Get to know people, use connections, find people you know within the company that you want to meet. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that doesn't work. Okay. And you hit a dead end. Yes. So then what do you do? Give up? No. <laughs> Never, ever give up. Try harder. With well, the harder <laughs> is and almost hitting the bottom of the barrel yeah. is a cold call. Okay. But do it because it's your only choice. Do it. The the fallacy that most people do is they call and say, I need a job, I need, I need, I need. Let me tell you, as an HR manager, mm -hmm. I don't care what you need. It's about it's what all you, about me. you need. Yeah. It's what I need. Okay. So you'll probably be leaving a voicemail or talking to a receptionist. Do you call asking for the boss or who do you know who to ask well, you, for? You do your best to find a name. Okay. Do that research. But sometimes you hit the wall. There's no name, you're cold calling. But you see a company, you read about them, and they have a product that you think you're perfect for sales, let's mm -hmm. say. And you call them, and you don't say, I'm looking for a sales job. You say, I read about your product. I am so excited about it. It's in South, you're, you're breaking into the Latin American market. I am bilingual. I've had eight years' experience with blah, blah, blah. And I think I'd be perfect to bring your market to the next level. Here is my contact information. I'll drop by a resume tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, and hopefully maybe we can connect. And you say think like a telemarketer because we know how annoying it is when they waste your time. You pick up the phone and they go on and on. You don't even know what they're trying to sell to you. That's right. And you're suspicious from the first second, mm -hmm. right? So think that's what they're going to be thinking on the other end. So you have to overcome that. You have to get their attention within the first few seconds so they don't delete your voicemail. Or the receptionist says, well, this is a valuable call. I'm going to put it forward to the boss. So you have about five or 10 seconds. It's all about what you're going to do for the company, not what you're looking for. It's the same as in an interview. And you say make it personal, and that's where the research beforehand comes in. If you don't know what you're talking about, forget it. Absolutely. You've got to know, they're going, wow, she knows about the product. She read the article. She understands the industry. Let's take this call because this might be the person we're looking for, or we didn't even think we needed somebody like this, but now that we hear this, we really do. So is it hard to do? Yes. Do you have to take a deep breath and <laughs> practice? Yes, but it's like anything else in a job. But the important thing, don't give up. If you don't know somebody in the company, don't give up. Use this technique. And is this the very last line of defense when everything else has failed? <laughs> well, if you've done all your networking, you can't find a name, you can't find, you can't find, don't give up. And, and yes, do this. It's, and it's not that hard. Make a game out of it. Practice sure. with someone else and go, oh, I would have hit delete then. Okay, so let's reword this thing. Okay. You've got to catch them. It's like bait. And you've got to catch the target and make them listen to the rest of it and be personable and go, wow, I want to meet this person. Wonderful. Phil Blair, thanks so much for stopping You're by. Welcome. We'll see you Great next to time. Be here. Take care. We'll get a check of your work week forecast when we return. Don't go anywhere. We're here till 10.